Oh, this is gonna be delicious, I can tell. Oh, <laughs> I want it now. I didn't make as many as I did last time because we're having rice and beans with it. <laughs> he doesn't care, he just loves my food. Today on Cooking with Strider, we're going easy, we're going simple, we're doing enchilada cups. Enchilada muffin cups. Enchilada muffin cups. Enchilada tin muffin. Do it. We have what we need. We got tortillas. We got the meat. We got the rice. We got the beans. We got a salsa. We got Mexican board cheese and some corn. Listen, this is from that Cookie Rookie, and I've been doing several things from her, and it's been amazing. I've already cooked these. I found out things that I'm going to personally change. Do this word for word, and it's delicious. I'm gonna change a couple of things up to our tastes. This is what we're gonna do. First, let's start with the meat. While that heats up, I'm going to take my favorite rice from H-E-B, and I'm going to just kind of get it prepared. These beans, I love these beans. They suggest black beans, which are delicious, but these are the best. They're borracho beans with Shinerbach inside of them, and they're so good. I'm gonna actually have rice and beans on the side of our enchilada cups, but I have de-juiced the beans over here because we don't want too much liquid going into our enchilada cups. Eddie's making a door for the cat up there. <laughs> Cook the meat like normal until it's brown and then we're gonna add some stuff. I'm gonna cut my little corns up. Okay, we're good, we're good. Things are looking good. I just need some corn. You can use the stuff in a can, but it just is squishy. It's not as crunchy. These will kind of stay crunchy a little bit. I like all things fast at the moment, but this is one of those things that I don't scamp on because it's just not as good. So the last time I made this recipe called for two tablespoons of taco seasoning. This particular taco seasoning was it's spicy. <laughs> too spicy. <laughs> Even jalapenos on there. So we're only gonna do one tablespoon. It was tasty, but you can also make your own. But who wants to do that when you're in a rush? Not me. I'm gonna go drain this grease though in the trash can. You can also make this ahead of time, which is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and put our corn in there. All right, here comes the fun stuff. There's enchilada sauce. There's also roasted tomatillo salsa. I'm gonna do the salsa instead, because I like it, but it's gonna be juicy, right? Oh, that's gonna be very spicy. Oh, it's gonna be so good. They say to add jalapenos too, but this is already a spicy. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if I use this with chicken? I should probably use this with chicken. <laughs> Isn't that green salsa? It seemed like it could better with chicken. Hold on, let me take a smell. Smell checks out. We're good here. This is gonna be so tasty. All right, I am going to try to get some of the juices out of it, so I'm gonna let it just simmer for a little bit and let it soak. While that happens, we're gonna loosen up our tortillas a little bit to fit in our tins. You just don't cook them all the way. You just make them pliable. <laughs> it just needs to go in. And we're gonna be cooking these to harden up. So you can put something on the inside. Last time I put um, other like silicone baking cups inside just to get it nice and hardened. Let's get these all gone. Tuts forgot to do that part. Bake it 350. Oh, and spray this with non-stick spray. And turn these, don't just walk off. <laughs> non-stick spray. All right, let's put them back in. I'm going to cook them for 10 minutes in there, just so that they get crunchy. Oh, I can't wait, it's so good. 10 minutes, bye-bye. And they're done. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's feel them. They're feeling a little crunchy and a little bit not crunchy. That's perfect though. I'm also making apple pie cookies because what says enchilada cups like apple pie cookies? Doesn't that sound delicious? Let's let that cool down a little bit while I finish my cookies. I finished, don't they look delightful? Yum, I've done a video on that. I'll put a link if you wanna see it again. And those are definitely do-overs, so good. So instead of enchilada tacos, we're gonna call these burrito tacos because that's really what's happening here. Move that around so I can see better. So we're putting a scoop of the meat. One thing that I did learn, I have deeper cups, like my whole finger fits in it, and that's really great for these. Because I had deeper cups, I put a whole lot of meat in it last time, and it was too meaty. <laughs> right, babe? We're like, ah, too much meat, none of the other stuff. So I'm just gonna do one scoop. If you have a smaller little thing, I would put even less. All right, now we're gonna put a scoop of rice. Oh, this is gonna be delicious, I can tell. 
Oh, <laughs> I want it now. I didn't make as many as I did last time because we're having rice and beans with it. <laughs> he doesn't care. He just loves my food. He just likes food. He's like, every day, he's like, what are we eating today? <laughs> I get something to get excited about. Every day, it's so funny. Now the last bit of it is a little bit of beans. Well, that's actually not the last bit, but man, the charo beans are so good. You can see all the yumminess inside of it. And the last bit is to get that cheese. We use Mexican four cheese and just put it on top. This is gonna be so tasty. <laughs> now that is a delicious, looking enchilada. And then we're gonna put these away until it's time to eat. But that's my setup right there. How great is that? Oh, I can't wait. All right, we're gonna come back later tonight. I'm gonna put something on top of it. <laughs> it's dinner time. 10 minutes, these guys are boiling. That's a new batch of that, because I really love that. I'm actually gonna put these in for a little bit longer than 10, because they're not piping hot, and I don't think it's gonna hurt it. So let's put them in for 12 minutes. Start. Meanwhile, these guys are gonna go in right as we're sitting down for dinner, and then I gotta heat this up somehow. Typically by turning on the fire. Haha, just in time. I'm like, please let me have put them in the right thing. I did. Look at these delicious things. Oh my goodness. They're all crunchy. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 wait, I need the glove. I need the glove. They're out. And then we plate. I have a pretty healthy appetite because I'm a busy body. So I will be eating as much as he does. There's three, no, we got four each. Doesn't this seem like way too much? <laughs> it is, but we still eat it. All right, four each. Oh my gosh, look at this, perfection. That's perfection, and that's what I let it sit for a couple hours. He likes his a little different than mine. I'm gonna do his first. So he likes sour cream. Let's make sure that the squeegee comes out and not that water. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little sour cream. He loves that guac. I make a pretty mean guac, but this guac is way better. He does not like cilantro, but please. Okay, he tolerates it. Let's put it a different way. Now, had I remembered, I would have put tomatoes, but I did not remember, so no tomatoes. It's okay. Now we come to mine. Crema. It's like legit. It's Mexican style cream. I don't know what's in it. I don't want to know what's in it. Spicy guac. Because mine is creamier, I don't want it to hit the bottom. Now watch it when you open these things and bite into it because it's super hot. We uh, learned our lesson from that last time. I love cilantro, so I'm gonna pack it in. Here's the other thing I love, lime. Also, speaking of to freshen up your rice, a little bit of lime and a little bit of salt, and that'll freshen it right up. Yum. And then now for my, hold on, smell those. I'm gonna do a little bit. And they're just like hors d'oeuvres-ish. Can you imagine just taking this to a party? Actually, you should take this to a party. Between this and like the candy, <coughs> hold on. There's some heat that went all the way down. Between this and like the candy cane reindeer fishing game, that's great. And then go make some cookies while you're at it. I personally like my burrato beans nice and watery, so I left it watery, but Eddie does not. So I'm gonna put his rice and his beans on the side and let him just chat out like that. Let's see what the inside of the burrito looks like. So we've already tasted this and we love it, I right? I love it, babe, it's so but delicious. How's it different with the rice and the beans? It's so good. It really does it's... make it uh, an improvement. Oh my goodness, babe. Oh, look at Manny, you've already started tearing it just up. tearing it up, I'm so <laughs> rude, I don't even care. Get All away right. from me. Hope you guys enjoyed it, we'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.